Ladies and gentlemen, it's the final show here in the Laughter Love. Today we feature the wonderful Keith Barron, one of Ireland's top stand-up comedians. He's here at one o'clock. The doors are now open. When you arrive in Galway, I didn't have a beard this morning. You get off the train. Look, there you are. There's another man with a beard. You just get handed a beard. That's how it works. Welcome to Galway. You know, around the world, I'm seen as exotic because I'm Irish and I have a beard. I come to Galway and they put me in the door queue. <laughs> with the rest of the postgrads who refuse to leave and are continuing to sell drugs to their students. That's where I'm put. Yay! Beards, where beards go to meet, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How'd you enjoy your gig? It was really nice, it was perfect. It's, it's sort of nearly the last gig I get to do before I go to, to Edinburgh, and it's it just, it couldn't have been nicer. Uh, it was, it's just that lovely crowd in Galway where you can throw out a Sigmund Freud reference and they go, oh, that's very good, we like that. You know, as opposed to having to explain it to some of the chimpanzees. I, uh, I, I, I don't play the chimpanzees often, only when I do the zoo tour. Um, but yeah, no, it was great, it was perfect. It was, it was just lovely. We're first in to help us. I mean, the Germans, we owed the money to the Germans. That's fucking scary. The last people to owe money to Germans were Jewish. That didn't work out too well at all. I don't know if there's any Germans here. I should apologize. It's comedy. What's the chances? Anyway, um... <laughs> don't applaud you xenophobic people, you don't. Terrible, terrible uh, behaviour altogether over here. You've probably brought some from your hostel, have you? No, yeah, no, never the Germans. <laughs> no, but this, this is, this is the thing. It's, it's England. England came to our aid. They were the first to say we'll give you nine billion interest rate, what well, sort of interest rate? And and then uh, you know the Queen came over to visit us. Now, in fairness, it wasn't just the Queen. We've had the Queen. We've had the Dalai Lama. We've had Barack Obama. It feels a little bit like everyone's visiting the hospital bed to say goodbye before we die. <laughs> Like a lot of my shows are, are quite political, like the, the first one was on the death penalty because I worked as a student uh, against the death penalty, so that really informed my first show. Uh, and then the second show was about racism, the third show was about uh, women's rights. And, and what it helped me to do was, was to take a lot of information and condense it down to something I really need. And then sort of from the comedy side, you put it through some sort of comedy filter and you hopefully make it funny. And, and I loved, I loved, I loved reading, I loved, I loved English, I, I loved history for a while. I, I was thinking of becoming a journalist because I loved drinking at lunchtime as well. <laughs> 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 Listening to other people's conversations, voicemails, things like that. And, um, <laughs> And, and, but I, I actually, my, my parents, because I wanted to go to college, nobody had ever gone to college, they had to, my school was so shit. Out of a hundred of us, nine went to third level education, and 91 went to prison. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, it was 90, one escaped. It's funny meeting some of the lads I was in college with, and, and they're as shocked as I am that I'm, I'm doing comedy, because it was so, it was so dry. Although you met a few guys, and they were the quickest wit. I mean, they went on to be barristers, and they just had that, that sort of, that wit and you could see them doing the stand-up and the worst hecklers are actually barristers. And, and then and then I went to Greece and I, I have to say I, I didn't really like the Greeks. I found them quite arrogant. And I did one of these tours where they were like, welcome to the temple of the god of the sun. Welcome to the temple of the god of the moon. And I was like, where is your temple to the god of fiscal responsibility? I ask you that. <laughs> And then he said, where are you from? And I said, Ireland. And he said, well, that's fine. We're going to the temple of the god calling the kettle Blackhouse next. 